We know that companion animals and their humans share a complex microbiota. So what about the households of outpatients with methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA, soft tissue infections? Should pets be concerned? But on a serious note, pets can act as a reservoir for microbes and reinfect patients after treatment. This can ultimately lead to the development of antibiotic resistance. Misich and co-workers studied 25 households containing 56 pets and 30 humans over a three-month period. They did not detect differences in the microbiota associated with MRSA S. aureus or other coagulase-positive staphylococci in companion animals. That is good news for companion animals. And they're humans. That's all for today. We'd love to hear your thoughts about our show and topics you'd like us to discuss in the future. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to pass along this exciting research. Until next time, bye. Bye.